crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, Maisie, and Joshua. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi guys. Um, happy New Year. So this is gonna be a changing video for New Year's. Um, I'm filming this on New Year's Eve and I'm going to change Noah into the outfit that I had originally planned to put him in on Christmas Day. But um, that morning was super, or no, sorry, not Christmas Day. Um, yeah, okay, I was gonna change him into it on Christmas Day, but it was busy and I didn't get to do it. So then I was going to do it before my mom came over on the 27th, but again, didn't get a chance to. So I thought it would still, even though it's like gray and red plaid, um, I think it would still be cute for um, New Year's, New Year's Eve. So I thought he could get dressed up to ring in the new year. Um, and then I think I'm also going to change Maisie into something as well. So that they're both sort of dolled up to ring in the new year. And I got a cute little New Year's headband. I kind of wish I had a bought two now, one for each of them. But I have one that... I thought um, I could take turns with it and get them um, wearing it for photos. So anyways, this set is a Carter set and it's actually a onesie style button down plaid shirt. It's a really nice material actually for, for Carter's. Um, it's very, uh, it's quite thick and warm. It just seems really well made. Um, especially given that it's a Carter's onesie. But anyway. Um, and then it comes with uh, black corduroy pants and suspenders. And I forgot to get out, I'm gonna have to grab it after, his new bow tie that I'm hoping the bow tie will go with this outfit. Um, if it doesn't, then I guess it'll be used with one of my other dressy boy Christmas outfits, but I'm kind of hoping it works. I guess we'll see. Um, but I just thought it would be cute. It's the one that he got for Christmas. So um, my replacement Cabbage Patch doll arrived today. Retro Festive shipped it yesterday. So it, and it was here the next day. I, like they have super fast shipping. Um, I've ordered from them before and almost always it's here like the next day or at least like the day after. Um, so, yeah, they just basically sent a replacement. Um, so what I did is, um, I carefully took this one out of the box and I, I did it in a way that I didn't have to cut. Like I didn't cut her out. I actually just cut all the tape on the box so that I could get to, um, the back and it was actually just tied into the box so I was able to carefully take it out of the box I don't think I can do up this top button on his collar it's tight it's very tight I don't know if it's gonna do up which is unfortunate because I think it needs to be done up to have the bow tie let's see if I can get it um 
Oh, there we go. So, but it, oh no, it's snug. It just popped open. I don't think it's gonna stay. Oh. Come on. Um, anyway, so yeah, I got the Cabbage Patch out of the box and um, I figured since they sent me a replacement, I would look at both dolls and pick which one is the best out of the two. And I ended up keeping my original one that my mom gave me. And I just switched the boots for the better pair of boots. Because actually, um, I thought it was only one boot that was smushed. But in swapping out the left boot, I noticed that the right boot was also um, slightly dented as well, but not nearly as bad as the left one, which is why I hadn't noticed it before. But once I got the left one out, like the good left one, that that's when I realized. So I swapped both boots out and then I um, put the defective boots on the replacement doll and then reboxed it up so that it looks new in box. So I'm thinking of gifting it or I even considered maybe making it um, a donation for Toy Mountain next Christmas because it's really only the boots that are wonky and I'm sure that some child would love the doll regardless of its wonky boots. So um, that's what I'm kind of thinking of doing. So that's all taken care of. And what else? Um, Oh, after like, I don't know, it seems to be at least two months now that I've been waiting for my order from the Taylor Swift shop, um, like her official merch shop. I've been waiting for my red Taylor's version CD as well as um, the red scarf from All Too Well. And it finally came this week, a couple days ago, it finally came in the mail. So um, I'm actually going to insert a clip of that here. Yay, my red CD has finally arrived with my all too well scarf. And guys, the scarf is amazing. Like some of the um, quality of Taylor's merch has been questionable since joining with Universal Music, but this is so soft and luxurious. And it has a tag that on one side says Taylor Swift and the other side says All Too Well. And of course it came with star confetti and it's red because the album is red. And it's just, oh, I just love it so much. It's so good and I'm so happy it finally came. I've been waiting for months. Like, when did I order? I ordered this. The album came out in October, right? Or was it November? No, I thought it was October. Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I ordered this in like October or like early November. I don't even remember now, but it's been a while. I've been waiting for this. I'm so excited. And it's got like these little tassels at the end. It's so pretty and I'm so excited for it. Yay! So I was very excited to receive that in the mail finally. And um, considering that the quality of her merch seems to be hit and miss ever since she, um, signed with Universal Records. Um, I was quite pleased with the quality of the scarf. It's really, really soft and it's nice and warm. Like it's, it's a heavy material. I don't think these shoes are gonna fit his big feet. I've never tried these on him before. I think these are the only dressy shoes that I have. 
in terms of black dressy shoes for boys. Why? I could have sworn this would fit. It's a size one. Should fit. His feet aren't, I mean, they're big, but they're not that big. Come on, let's make it fit. Uh, but yeah, the scarf is a really nice quality, actually. So I was very impressed with that. Here, let's try doing it this way. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. That worked. <laughs> but it's... Oh, it's on. It's on. Yay! There we go. Mr. Jazzy. Um, and I think that's it. Like, there really isn't much else since my last videos. I only had one day of work this week, which was kind of weird. <laughs> I kind of wished I had taken the day off because it just felt weird to go back to work for like one day. And then <laughs> at the end of the day, I was like, okay, have a nice weekend and see you on like next and see you next Tuesday. <laughs> like it was kind of weird, but um, it was nice because for the first time in a while, um, the little guy I watched took a two hour nap. So that was quite nice. Um, okay, let's try and get the suspenders on. There's a button in the back that it goes into. Um, oh, there's different notches. Huh. Okay. Well, I want it to go, I think I'm going to do, let's try the middle notch. I probably should have put this on before I put his pants on. This is going to be a little awkward. Um, okay, there. Let's try that. Oh, look at you. Oh my gosh, this is a, this is so cute. Oh my goodness, Mr. Noah. Okay, wow, they do not make these buttons easy to do up at all. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Hopefully the suspenders aren't too loose. If they are, I can take the back in one notch. So let's see, it does seem a little, well, maybe. Okay, let's try one more notch. Let's see. Um, I've been catching up on a little bit of YouTube. I finally watched Home Alone 2. And now I need to plug in all the birthdays and appointments and stuff into my new calendar and my new planner for the new year. Oh my gosh. Um, we got some news that my grandma's building, um, there's new restrictions in place again. And so now, um, no one is allowed to visit until they have their third shot. And they are now going to start giving um, the seniors in the building their fourth shot. Uh, so I don't know when I'm going to get my Christmas gift over to my grandma because I don't know when I'm going to get to see her and like it's apparently really hard to get an appointment for the third shot right now because everyone's booking it and so I have no idea when I'll be able to get that um I'm also not sure I'm going to get it at this point because uh until I find out what my blood work results are because I got my lupus blood work done today. 
um, I'm not doing anything because the whole thing with um, the respirologist saying that my lungs are having inflammation in them again, which would mean that my lupus is active again. Um, I don't personally think it's that. Um, so I'm curious to see what my blood work says because if my blood work shows that my lupus is still inactive and that there's no inflammation, um, then I'm inclined to link these lung issues to the vaccine because I started thinking about it and it was like I got my second shot at the end of August and then um, that's when I started to notice that it wasn't a huge change in my shortness of breath but I did notice I was getting short of breath a lot more easily but I didn't really think anything of it at the time because it wasn't major and then you know then to go for the breathing test and have it come back uh, not with the best results and then all this stuff with um, them saying my CT scan is showing inflammation and stuff just has me wondering that if it turns out that it's not actually my lupus that's active could it have been the vaccine and I actually went and did some research and I found um, some medical journals that uh, documented actual cases of this happening from the vaccine that some people had a flare-up of previously under controlled uh, inflammation of their lungs and also there was like some instances where after the vaccine people got interstitial lung disease so it's happened um, I don't know that it's a frequent thing but I found at least six medical journals that documented like six different cases of this um, so it's definitely something that I'm keeping in mind and so I'm not rushing out to get the third vaccine until I get that settled and figured out um, so I'm anxious to see what my blood work results are first and then take it from there but um, so I'm not in a rush at this point. Um, okay, I'm going to pause the video for a second so that I can grab his bow tie and see if it works well with this outfit. Okay, so this bow tie, I don't know, guys. I don't know if it's right for this outfit. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments. Um... His shirt is white, dark gray, and a little bit of black maybe, or like an even darker gray plaid. And this bow tie is a checker print instead of a plaid print of black and red. <laughs> so I, I don't know if it works with this outfit. Um, it might work better with a top that has actual just black and red. I'm not sure if this gray is going to make it work. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try it out. And I have it the smallest size you can make it. And it's still a little loose. I've already tried it on. So it does run big, but I have it at the smallest size. Let's try and tuck it under his collar like you would. <laughs> it's also really big, um, the bow itself. <laughs> it's cute, but <laughs> that is one big bow tie for a baby. Holy moly. Um, yeah, I don't think it matches. I don't, <laughs> I don't think it works. I don't think that works at all. Um, I think I need to do it with a different outfit, but I'll leave, <laughs> I'll leave it for now. Um, <laughs> what do you, what do you guys think? I don't, I don't think so. I, I, it kind of stands out from the rest of the outfit. I don't, I don't think so. 
but I gave him red socks and his black shoes. These suspenders are to die for. Um, <laughs> I don't know. The bow tie is just so big. It's so big. Oh boy. All right. Well, um, I am going to pause the video and get Maisie ready, bring Maisie in, and, um, and then uh, we'll, we'll end the video with these guys ringing in the new year. Um, so for the sake of uh, video length, I will not change Maisie on camera. I'll change her off camera and come back on with her. Okay guys, so I got Maisie all ready. She's wearing a mayoral dress, fancy schmancy. Um, so it's just like a cream colored dress. It's got these like little embroidered circles that's like a tool on a tool material. And it's got this cute little bow on the waist and then an oatmeal color um, shrug sweater. And I paired it with a cream color flower hair bow and this bracelet that's um, cream colored and gold colored shimmery beads. She's got some frilly socks and sparkly, I don't know if you can see it on camera, sparkly silver shoes. And so her and Noah are hanging out waiting to ring in the new year. All right, guys, it's officially the new year. Happy new year, everyone. As you can see, Mr. Noah is wearing a headband that has gold stars on it. And the stars say, Happy New Year. <laughs> Super cute. I wish I had picked up two so that Maisie would have one to wear as well. But anyways, Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you had a nice evening celebrating. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!